Hey friends, today I'm going to talk to you about what you need to know about moving to Miami Beach. And I'm going to get started right now. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss another update. I do put out new videos every single week. In addition to that, if you would like to get my free house hunting checklist, and everybody loves it, hit the link below and subscribe. You'll also be added to our weekly newsletter, which comes out every single week with information about our local market. Okay, let's get started. So we specialize in luxury living in the city and you can find us online at thepretsies.com. And this is a beautiful presentation that I'm going to share with you today about moving to Miami Beach. So the first thing that you need to know about moving to Miami Beach is that Miami Beach is not Miami. Miami Beach is an island off the mainland of Miami. They sort of run parallel to each other. But you can see in these two shots above is the Edgewater area of Miami. There's a bridge that goes across to Miami Beach. And below is downtown Miami and parks of Brickell and Brickell Key. You can see that probably you've seen a lot of these shots online or in movies or it, this could be your vision of Miami Beach. But just know that this is actually Miami. I mean, we're back and forth all the time, but just so you know, especially if you're searching for real estate, that's important to know. This is Miami Beach, and this is actually the South Beach neighborhood of Miami Beach. And you can see on the tip part of the coast here, that is the bottom of Miami Beach, South Beach, and that South of Fifth, <laughs> three neighborhoods. And then we have South Point Park there at the very edge. And then we start First Street, and then Miami Beach runs from a, from First Street all the way up into the 80s, the street grid of Miami Beach. This is a great shot to explain to you how close we are to Brickell and downtown Miami and, you know, the parts of the city where people sort of get confused because, you know, that all looks the same. So the bottom screen is the is South Beach and it's the neighborhood of south of fifth and then you can see in the middle part of the screen we have the port of miami and then directly across from that in the mid top part of the screen is brickle and then to the right of that is downtown miami so we are very close together but if you are searching for real estate just know that brickle is actually miami downtown miami is also miami and then at the bottom of the screen is Miami Beach. This is another great shot of the city. This is still South Beach. It's the neighborhood of Miami Beach. And this is the West Avenue area of Miami Beach. And you can see that these properties are actually located on Biscayne Bay. And their views are of the islands and also downtown Miami and um, parts of the Edgewater neighborhood. Then in the middle, you can also see that we have uh, Flamingo, uh, Flamingo Park. There's a lot of walk up and smaller buildings. And then um, a little bit farther down, you will see the ocean. So there's all different types of real estate here. So if you're searching for real estate in our city, you will want to use the zip codes of 33139 for South Beach in the more southern section of the island. The middle part of the island is 33140 and 33141, that's the northern section. And then you may have heard of some of these neighborhoods. If you are already familiar with these neighborhoods and you're searching online, you still want to use Miami Beach, but these are the neighborhoods um, within Miami Beach. So you'll see the more popular section, like for instance, South Beach, South of Fifth, West Avenue, that is still Miami Beach if you're searching for real estate. We have amazing parks in the city. Uh, we have 39 parks and we have some huge parks that have tons of activities. We have a, an incredible parks and recreation system. You can actually use the website that I've listed over here on the right to access the information. But what I love about the parks here is they have tons of activities for all different age groups. And if you are a local resident, a lot of these activities can be accessed and used for a lower cost and a lot of them are also free. 
And we do have a beautiful ice rink and bowling and gymnastics and tennis and soccer. And there's just a lot of activities around our city. We also have the New World Symphony, which is located off of 17th Street in Miami Beach. And there's a beautiful wall cast outside. So if you're not able to attend performances in person, you can sit outside for some select shows and watch the symphony outside. And they also do movie wall cast as well. We do have a new convention center, the Miami Beach Convention Center. We actually attended our Basel there this year. It was amazing. And so that is an amazing facility that you have to check out. We are very close to a lot of major hubs around the city. For instance, to get to downtown Brickell, it's around 10 minutes to the airport, 17 minutes. If you need to get to Fort Lauderdale, it's around 45 minutes, Aventura 30. Just remember though, we are a city, so sometimes traffic takes longer and sometimes it is within these timelines. <laughs> Lincoln Road is the hub of our city. It is a mile long pedestrian only um, street and there are tons of restaurants and shops at Lincoln Road. We also have this beautiful parking garage and you're probably wondering, this is the parking garage over here in the far right top. You're probably wondering why is a parking garage so important, but it was um, designed by a famous architect. And if you go in an elevator to the top of the garage, you can see the whole entire city. And um, it's just a beautiful space where we all hang out the kids hang out, run around. Um, there's beautiful little ponds with fish and it's just a nice space. People hang out at the cafes and it's a great space to be in the city and people watch too. We do have a lot of schools in Miami Beach. We have public, charter, Montessori and private. You can check out all of our schools at greatschools.org. Our temperature is what everyone loves. And in December through May, it's pretty warm, dry, and that's obviously our peak travel times. September, June through September is hot and humid. But I will tell you, I have family in the South and they say sometimes it's hotter there. They always like to call me and say, how's the temperature there? And then we compare and very often it's warmer and more humid there than it is here. So our weather is nothing less than perfect throughout most of the year. And you'll also see that our average temperature ranges from around 68 degrees in January to around 84 in July and August. So this is really interesting. People always want to know about the pricing here. Um, there are a lot of different price points in our city. So there can be something for everyone just depending on your expectations. But you can see the houses start from around 559 to 39.9 million. Condominiums are from 100 to 39.9 million and rentals are from approximately 100 to 150,000. Big price differences, right? Oh, actually, just to tell you, this is from MLS data from two days ago. So that's what's on the market right now. We do have single family homes located all throughout the city. Miami Beach homes, I would say um, overall, you know, a little bit more pricey because land here is not super available and the homes here tend to be all different styles and all different price points so you can even see here from 559 to 39.9 million but just for an example so you can have an idea um, this was a property that sold properties that sold over the last 180 days single family homes that were on the water with a pool the lowest price that sold was 1.05 million and the highest that sold was 19.55 million Actually, I love the screen because we have all different types of condominiums throughout our city. And what's important to know is that you, you can see here just in this screen that you have super luxury high rise properties that are oceanfront, which this is prime real estate. This is continuum one and two in this four shot here. And you can see that, you know, just behind it, there are smaller walk up buildings, there's older buildings. So the price points range just because there's all different types of real estate here. And so what sold over the last 180 days, two bedroom on the water, 165,000, and then 4.85 million. So if you purchase a condominium, you can really expect to have obviously the monthly maintenance fee and the amount really depends on the services that's included. And it's usually calculated based on the square footage of your unit. These fees can typically include water insurance, property management fees, if not self-managed and can consist of cable, internet, and other services. And the fees do vary building to building, and they're usually in line with sort of the management style and the mentality of that building. 
Some buildings like to run things a little bit on the cheaper side, and some buildings like to spend some money because they have a lot more luxury services. So you need to know what's in line with your mentality and your expectations. And also some buildings do collect reserves while others do not. The biggest thing to know is that you really need to check the budget of the building so that you know what is sort of their style in running the building so that that's in line with your expectations. Parking here is a big deal. Um, parking is definitely a commodity in our city. And if you're thinking about buying and you need a parking space, it's important to make sure that you include that on the sales contract because not all properties here come with parking. Some are deeded, others assigned, and there is a difference. Some parking spaces are in garages and some are outside. So if parking is important to you, you really need to make sure that you let your agent know because not all units here come with parking spaces. And obviously the amenities vary based on what type of services are included in the building. If you're purchasing a house, it's very important to know that you'll have very different expenses than in a condominium. Uh, single family homes here have a lot of different maintenance requirements, especially if they're on the water. And if you're in the process of purchasing the house, you'll definitely want to make sure you have additional inspections in addition to the home inspection. You want to make sure that you understand what you're buying. And pricing out insurance is very important with single family homes because unlike condominiums, you have to pay for that on your own. In condominiums, you pay for a walls in policy, but the, the monthly maintenance usually covers the bulk of the insurance. Um, but on a single family home, you will be responsible for paying for that yourself. So the next question is how long does it take to buy a property in Miami Beach? Well, if you're buying with cash, you can expect to close in about 15 days just depending on if there's no additional factors like condominium approvals or something else that creates a delay. If you are getting financing, you can expect to close in about 30 to 45 days. A few other important details to know. If you're looking at real estate online, do not rely on the current owner's taxes because taxes get reset based on your purchase price. So that's a, a discussion that we always have at a buyer consultation, but it's just very important to know. The other thing is, is a lot of buildings are not eligible for traditional financing here. So if you are getting financing, you really need to make sure you work with agents who understand that process and a lender who knows what to do. And insurance is a very big deal in our area. You need to work with people who can explain that process to you. You need experienced agents and you also need experienced insurance agents. And if insurance is a big deal for sort of your price point and budget, you need to make sure that you have a discussion with your agent about that because some properties may not be eligible for you to purchase because the insurance may be way too expensive. Next, uh, inspections. Certain homes do need additional inspections in, additional, in addition to the regular. Certain homes do need additional inspections in addition to the regular home inspection. For instance, if there's a septic tank on the property, you're probably going to want to have a septic tank inspection. If the plumbing is super old, you may want to consider getting the plumbing scope. So just know that in addition to a regular home inspection, you may want to have additional inspection. So next I want to talk a little bit about short term rentals. Now I know a lot of people say Airbnb, they may mean Airbnb. And then sometimes people are using that sort of as the slang of everything that refers to short term rentals. The way it has worked is this in order to rent short term, which is anything that is six months and a day, less you need to be in an area of the city that is zoned for that and in addition to that your building needs to allow it so that's how it has always worked now we don't know what's going to happen in the future because there's a lot of lawsuits going back and forth um, if that's something that's very important to you you need to make sure you work with professionals who can guide you because there's nothing worse than buying a property that you think you can airbnb and then you're not able to do that so my name is Jamie Pretzi and we specialize in luxury real estate and condominiums, single family homes, and also rentals. And I say we because it's me and my husband. We've been in business since 2006. And if you would like to check out any of our reviews, you are welcome to go online to thepretzies.com and you can see our client reviews in the top menu. This is my husband, Arden Pretzi, and he is originally from Croatia. 
And we actually met in college. <laughs> and my name is Jamie Pretzi. We have helped hundreds and hundreds of families buy and sell here in Miami, Miami Beach. And our office is in South of Fifth in Miami Beach. And we work from parts of South Miami into Broward. You can find us online on YouTube, Jamie Pretzi, Miami, Miami Beach Real Estate, on Instagram at The Pretzies, on Facebook at The Pretzies, and on our website, thepretzies.com. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great week.